There's Daphne going in circles. She sure does love her circles. Always in Canada, the iconic Big Red Chair. Good morning. So, we are leaving Fort Capel campground this morning and moving on to see some family and they're going to want to see the van and stuff so I'm getting it cleaned up but I came outside and realized that was dumb. I had some wet shoes from taking Daphne for a swim last night and I left them outside to dry. They are soaking wet and can you see on the tablecloth it, like it's it's soaking wet. So drying things outside during the night is not a thing. <laughs> it's not a thing. The sun is just setting as we are arriving in Manitoba. We are here at the Friends of Riding Mountain National Park Learning Center and we are doing book readings tonight. Check this out. They've done a really nice poster for us. And how much fun is this? <laughs> Hello, Bear. We have made it to the world's tallest can of Coca-Cola. What do you think, Daphne? World's largest can of Coke. Why do you think they did that? And why do you think it represents Portage La Prairie? We don't know. We're on our way to Winnipeg. in different national parks and at different national historic sites. So the challenge is to find them and enjoy the scenic view that they provide. So this is one at the Forks National Historic Site in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And there you go, view of the river from the red chairs. Oh my gosh, we've been on the road less than two weeks and I already got a very, very nasty knock at the door. Bang, 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 bang. Oh my gosh. So, of course, I answered the door and I was asked to leave the parking lot. And I explained, I'm here to pick something up at the store. It's just not open yet. And I arrived early. It's not like I slept here last night or anything. I just came here early because I had to move anyway. And I'm making my coffee. I'm just making the bed. That type of thing. Bang, 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 bang. It was nasty. Anyway, when I opened the door, he was very nice. And when I explained, he was very nice. Just that we're in a very industrial area. And they get a lot of situations come up that they do have to ask people to leave so I get that and he's getting my order ready and then I can be on my way but wow that was kind of shocking if that happened in the middle of the night asking me to leave when I'm sleeping wow that would be nasty anyway we're on to our day I'm gonna look up the nearest grocery store because Daphne needs to eat and we are out of dog food and then I just have to find a place to work so a nearby park somewhere, that'll do. Look where we are. We're at the center of Canada. And of course, there's a nice big red chair for us. It's always a challenge for me to get up here, especially when I have to have you with me. Hey, vertically challenged and someone in my arms, hey. 
we are on our way this afternoon to a market in Richter, Manitoba. So we are going to end things here. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again down the road. Well, we left home two weeks ago and I'm tired. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. We've been driving and driving and we've been doing markets and we've been figuring out how to organize things in the van. Setting up a new home is a lot of work. What goes where? What keeps things in place? that sort of thing. What do we need? What do we need to get rid of? Oh man, it's been busy.